everybody, welcome back to Smoking with the Smiths. On today's episode, we have an interesting cut of meat for you guys today. This is the London broil. Uh, some people call it the top round, but it's a very tough cut of meat, and we're going to try to tenderize it up and smoke it and see if we can't make a nice, delicious meal out of this tough cut of meat. So we'll see what we can do with this. Before we get started today, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So with that, we're going to go ahead and put together a marinade for this London broil. We're going to let it rest or soak in this marinade overnight. Then we're going to make it tomorrow on the smoker. So let's get started. Let's make a marinade. Okay, so for this marinade, we're going to start off with a uh, dry red wine. I've got a quarter cup here. We're using a... Cabernet Sauvignon because we're fancy like that. So a quarter cup of dry red wine. Next we're gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce or soy sauce alternative. We have, we're actually using liquid aminos, but you can use soy sauce if you'd like. Next we're gonna add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Next we have two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Then we're going to go with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or any kind of oil really. We're using avocado oil, but avocado, extra virgin olive oil, whatever kind of oil you got, two tablespoons of that. Next up we're going to add two teaspoons or two cloves of minced garlic. Next we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and then roughly a teaspoon of black pepper as well. And then finally we're going to add a teaspoon of parsley. Mix that up real good and then we will pour it into a Ziploc bag. Oops. All right, we got our marinade in a Ziploc bag here, so now we're just gonna grab our London broil and put it in the Ziploc with the marinade. Seal it up tight so there's no air in there. And we got another bowl here that we are going to put this in. And we're just gonna let that soak. Like I said, we're gonna let it go overnight. I would probably do a minimum of like four hours just to make sure we get that marinade in there, but we're going to let ours go overnight and then smoke this thing tomorrow. I can't wait to give it a try. It looks like it's going to be really good. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours roughly that we've had our uh, London broil here in the marinade. So we're going to pull it out. We're going to get it on this sheet here, and then we're going to season it up before we put it on the smoker. All right, so before we put this on, we've had it in the marinade, a nice acidic marinade to try to break down some of the, the toughness that's in this cut of meat. And to finish off seasoning, seasoning it, we have some Meat Eater Mastodon Hunter. This is a wild game rub from Meat Eater. Uh, it says here that it's good on vegetables or whole muscle roasts. So we're gonna give it a try on here. Haven't actually tried this a uh, particular rub yet, but let's see what happens. And then one more thing before we get started, we've got our meter here. We're going to go ahead and insert this into the thickest part so we know when our steak is going to be done. All right, so as we set up our meter here, you'll see it'll give us a recommended internal temperature for when we want our steak to be done. Uh, it's recommending 135, which is right in between, or right in the medium rare range, actually. So that's what we usually like to have our steaks and our roasts and whatever at, uh, you know, the medium rare. So we're going to go ahead and stick with this. I am 
though, going to probably reverse sear this. So I'm going to pull it off a little bit before this. So we're going to try to get this to an internal temperature of 125. And then we're going to go ahead and reverse sear it to give it a nice uh, texture on the outside. All right, so we have our Pit Boss KC combo set up to uh, 250 degrees. We're running hickory pellets through it, and we're going to get our London broil on here. Okay guys, so we let the smoker do its work for about an hour and 15 minutes. Quick seared on both sides on the flat top. And now we're just gonna let it rest here a little bit and give a cut into it, see what it looks like on the inside. But for now, just letting it rest, let it finish you know, getting up to its peak temperature. Let those juices redistribute is very important in a cut like this. Like I, I mentioned earlier, it's a tends to be a tough cut, so we're trying to do everything we can here to make it nice and tender. So we want to let those juices get back into the meat, and then we're going to cut into it. A couple minutes yet. Okay, our London broil peaked at an internal temperature of 133, which is just about what we were aiming for. We are aiming for 135, but it can sometimes be a little tricky when you're doing the reverse sear because you want to... Usually 10 degrees before it's done, you pull it off, you reverse sear it, and it gets to the temperature you wanted. Came up just a little bit short, but that's fine. So one last crucial thing when working with a cut like this that's a little uh, on the tougher side, you want to find the grain of the steak, and you want to cut against the grain. So looking at this, uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but you can kind of see a few places here where the grain is running kind of diagonal across this way so in that case we want to cut it this way down along like this so let's slice into it and that'll do it for a london broil on pit boss kc combo let's give it a taste It's pretty good. You can definitely taste the vinegar from the marinade. The marinade definitely soaked in there really nicely. Uh, nice and tender, you know, uh, as tender as it can be. Like I said, it's a pretty tough cut, but it does uh, come right apart. It's really good. It's nice and nice and juicy. So make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Comment below if you give this a try. If you've got any recipes you want us to try in the upcoming uh, episodes of Smoking with the Smiths, let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, we'll see you then.